this is Roxy, and I just wanted to share some pocket planners I've made for a swap we're doing on your paper pantry. Um, the theme was coffee, so I googled um, some retro and vintage coffee images and found um, some really fun ones. Uh, this looks like kind of probably the late 60s, um, early 70s, but I just printed them out in black and white and then use Copics to kind of colorize the coffee to cup to to make that stand out. But I was going to do like her curlers and other things, but I thought I kind of just liked the focal point to be the coffee. And then I just added a little bit of um, color to kind of pull things in. I just spit on it. <laughs> Sorry. So I just add a little bit of color to pull things in. And then I put all the goodies on the back. I also added um, some Heidi Swap paper on the back of the um, images and that. So um, what I have is some vintage sequin trim and I made some uh, ribbon clips and then I added or included a pack of sequins. These are A lot of these are vintage, not all of them. But a lot of the shapes are, and then some of the colors are the golds. And then I die cut some coffee cups, and this is from a Simon, Simon Says Stamp um, die cut that was in one of their kits this past, I don't know what month it was, but anyways. And then I just took a little pack of note post-it notes and used the Tim Holtz um, steel rule uh, doily die just to make kind of a little like the sticky is up here and then it just makes a little fancier um, thing and then I've got a couple flag um, clips and then some target tags and then um, these two are Dollar Tree uh, <coughs> excuse me washi tape and then that one was from Target at Valentine's Day and then these chipboard pieces are from um, Maggie Holmes um, Project Life pack that I have. I made some cards with it. So that's that one. And then I found this photo, which I love this one too. Just, she's, I just have a feeling she's French. I don't know. It kind of just seems real French. Um, and she's getting handed a cup of coffee and she already has one. Um, but again, I just did the same. I highlighted the coffee cups and then just added some color to draw it in. Um, but I like that one. Look at how skinny her waist is. And oh, and also the best part is she's holding a letter, so that's kind of cool. We're not doing the letter part on ours, but it'd be a cool image if you're doing the pocket pal thing or whatever it is. Um, and then again, I've got the same pieces, same things. Um, just a little, like this is, uh, boy, I think it's, uh, I want to say Making Memories uh, washi or paper tape that they called it. And then these are just some for my stash. These ribbons are actually, I got it in a rack and I, I'm sorry, I don't remember who sent me that. It's been so long. And here's some more vintage and new sequins. And then with all the coffee cups, I use glitter paper for the heart, or just, you know, underneath so the heart would stand out. And then I used um, uh, glossy accents to make it shine more. And this one, I think this is Marilyn Monroe. It's got to be. So I highlighted her coffee cup and um, left it alone because I just really like pretty smile and eyes and look how dainty your hand is it's just so cool and again um, did some washi and doily for color and same thing pretty much um, I think that's a target dollar spot otherwise I don't remember and just some different I think these, yeah, these are, uh, the glitter ones are from Dollar Tree washi tapes. And I left those alone because they um, got to be too thick on the plastic. 
So I wrapped these around acrylic plastic. Um, and here's the last one. I love her. She looks Parisian too, it seems. Um, and probably from the earlier 60s. As our is the other French girl, and then Marilyn is probably from I'd say early 60s too, maybe late 50s actually. So, anyways, I highlighted her coffee cup with uh, Copics again, and again left the picture alone um, because I think a lot of people are just putting these in books, so it'll be kind of fun to look at. At least that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and then again, this love. I don't remember where I got that. I really like it. This love washi. It's nice and thick. And these are predominantly um, vintage. Like there's a big cool, I don't know what, I can't remember what they call them, but they sew them to hats, this big pink one. So I got a whole pack of those at a estate sale. And there's that one. So, um, it's just kind of a different way to do them. Um, to just use a big, you know, a photo like that. And I pulled these into Photoshop. And they were 72 DPI. But I bumped it up to 300. And then I changed the size of it just to 8.5 by 11. And they printed out fine. Um... I don't see any problem with the pixels on any of them. I mean, you'd have to really look close to see that it's a little pixelated, but its I thought they printed out really nicely. And then I just did want to say, too, the paper clips. Um, I was going to get them on Office Depot or Office Max, whatever it's called today. And, um, you know, they charge $10 shipping, so I thought, well, there's one right up the street. So I went up there and... Um, they had the smaller paper clip for like a dollar seventy-seven. Not these. Where are they? They had these smaller paper clips. I think they're a dollar seventy-seven. They're on clearance actually. And then um, they had these all uh, different sizes of binder clips. There's thirty of them. I don't remember. These were a couple of bucks. Two eighty, I think. But they didn't have the larger jumbo size. But they have them on their website. So I asked the guy, you know, you got them on your website. Is there any way you can have them shipped to a store so I can get them? And he says, well, I can have them ship them to your house. And I said, well, you know, I don't really want to pay for shipping. He goes, oh, no, it's free shipping. So I got two packs for a dollar eighty-one. I think it was. Um... And free shipping to my door. And it only took a few days, so that was pretty cool. Um, so that's just a nice little tip if you need some of these. Um, and anyways, um, come and join us at Your Paper Pantry. Um, this next month we're going to do a really cool swap where um, whoever signs up, each person will take a um, product. In other words, one person's going to send in all washi tape. Another person will send in all um, clips or whatever and then our moderator and hostess Mona is going to divvy it all out so everybody gets back one of each item so that'll be kind of fun um, so that they can have you know it's kind of like a prod product swap in other words but for planners or for planner pockets we also have Myra is going to start a or has started a mini pocket planner um, swap and that's using the two by two coin sleeves. So that's uh, sign ups are going on right now for that. Um, so come and join us. It's twelve dollars a year. It's only a dollar a month, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of swaps, not just these. Um, we have a lot of swaps. We're gonna have December daily coming up. Uh, we've got ATC swap, flower swap, embellishment swap, um, mini note cards, artsy fartsy tickets that Linda does, and we've got um, greeting cards, card kits. We're doing a bottle swap this month, so just a lot of different, um, I know I'm leaving, oh, like Romantic Cottage. Teresa does a different swap every month, which is fun, so 
come and join us. Bye.